Check out what I scored in the dumpster. Three beautiful Apple Power Mac G5s. I know they're absolutely ancient. They date from about uh, 2003 or thereabouts. So a good 12 years old and pretty much useless today. But look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Aluminium cases. It's just an absolutely stunning design. Let's take a quick look at them. Now all three look absolutely identical, but they're not, as we'll uh, see on the back and inside as well. Now they might look quite similar on the back, but if you have a look at uh, some of the features, they're not. Uh, these two, for example, are uh, basically almost identical uh, machines. They've actually got the, like a modem interface you can actually see there. Regular IEC uh, power connectors, just a couple of USBs. They've got a uh, fire wire there and uh, digital audio and stuff. And um, they've actually got, if you have a look up here on the graphics card up here, regular DVI connector, but then they've got this pain in the ass uh, DVI um, M1 connector, which is a combined like a USB and DVI, and I actually don't have an adapter for that, whereas this machine over here, it's got actually dual standard DVI interfaces, so ugh, ugh, dust everywhere, and it doesn't, it differs in that uh, it doesn't have the uh, the old school uh, modem interface down here. It's got some more USBs, so it's a little bit more modern. Not sure what's uh, going on here with this thing. Um, and uh, these things are a uh, one of these uh, Kensington lock things or whatever you call them. So allows you to attach a uh, cable on there. That's also the release mechanism for the case as well. And look at this, doesn't use a standard... Um, IEC connector, it's got one of these 15 amp uh, server type, that are quite common on uh, server type gear and things like that, but I do have a power cord for that and a 15 amp outlet here in the lab. Now the beast with the big uh, 15 amp outlet on it, it's the A1177 model. And the other two are identical models, but as you'll see inside they're actually configured differently, they're the A1047. Now in terms of performance, these were actually, uh, well they claim to be the world's fastest personal computer when they were released in 2003, these Power Mac uh, G5s. They've got a PowerPC G5 uh, processor in it, hence the name, not uh, the new Intel processors like the uh, modern machines. And they're a huge case, they weigh an absolute ton, but I just couldn't bear to throw them out, even though their processing power is absolutely useless these days, a modern iPhone would have more uh, processing power than these things, I think. So, you know, like pretty useless, but look at these gorgeous cases. Oh, man. So let's pop one open here and see if we can get the money shot. This lever here, you just hold it up like that, and this side panel just comes off, falls away, beautiful. Oh. Look at that, they've got instructions in there, and I love the seal around here too. They've got a rubber seal right around here, and uh, it's just beautiful separate sealed sections for the airflow, as we'll see inside here. And these puppies are fully populated. This one's actually heavier than the other machine, so it's a dual G5 processor, whereas the other one is only a single uh, G5 processor. And we can have a look at the specs down here. But look at this clear acrylic airflow guide. It's just beautiful. The designers absolutely went to town on the thermal performance of this thing. It's absolutely stunning. It's really dusty as inside. A bit horrible, but uh, yeah, it's just beautiful construction. And you can see like a, a separate section up here for the hard drives and the um, uh, CD drive up here, and as you can see, completely separate sealed section up here compared to the airflow down here with that uh, air guide we saw before. This is the uh, dual hard drive bay interface. Absolutely surprising that they only allow you dual hard drives in this thing. It's a massive machine. It's just all about the thermal performance of the thing. And uh, But it's not that, um, I'm, I'm not sure how quiet it was when it was brand new, but it's a bit noisy now, so the fans could have uh, seen better days, I guess. And we've got four PCI expansion slots down in there, and this one's, I don't know anything about the uh, graphics cards in Macs. In fact, I don't know much about Apple Macs at all. Never really used one. 
And that battery doesn't look like it's uh, leaked, so that's a good thing, considering that these things are, you know, 12 years old. Geez, it's, you know, if you're going to use it, you'd be replacing that. Interesting to see that the, uh, you notice all the bypass caps on on that huge, um, I assume, sort of like system BGA uh, chip down in there, probably bus handling the bus interface or something. It's actually on the other side of the board, which is really rather interesting. And it looks like all the machines are fully populated with the eight memory slots, as you can see uh, down in there. Please excuse the exposure. It's hard to get uh, when you're shooting aluminium like this and dark internals. Eh, it's a bit difficult. Big thing, of course, these dual big processors in here. Look at these massive uh, heatsink fins here. Each one's got its own fan and oh, just beautiful. Shock mounted too. Oh, no, that's a bit, that's a bit wobbly. But uh, they've got the rubber uh, mounts on there, that's for sure. And I love how that fan assembly just pulls out. It's got a connector interface, goes straight down on the board. That's, that's some beautiful engineering right there. Look at the depth of those fans. Jeez, they could move some air, let me tell you. They're real Bobby Dazzlers. Unbelievable. No branding on them, though. And there's the memory slots down in there. Apple Computer Inc. 2004 thank you very much and we can have a look at those memory sticks but we'll be able to see it on the nameplate here here you go this one is the uh, dual 2 gig uh, processor one dp that's what dual processor uh 512 megs of ram oh, for eight sticks anyway um 160 gig hard drive i don't know if that's the actual drive in there most likely um and a uh, uh, g GS200, is that like the, or G5200, is that the graphics uh, card? Yeah, and 56K modem, yeah, and PCIX uh, expansion. We've got a fair bit more than 512 meg. We've got 512 meg per stick there. We've got eight of them. Do the math. And I have no idea how to take this thing apart, so I won't bother taking out the uh, processor there. So I'm not, you know, you'd have to get through to look at just that it is a uh, PowerPC uh, G5. Um, yeah, not that exciting. I'm not going to bother. Sorry. Woohoo! There it is. There's another fan down in there at right angles, is it? That's weird. And here's the other machine. Identical uh, model number, but as you can see, only a single uh, processor. Once again, still got the hard drive installed. I wonder if there's any data still on it, or if they wiped it. Um, and a full, um suite of memory once again but you can see that the uh extra process is missing and you can see the processor board tucked away under there now here's the big beast the 1177 this one's once again a dual 2 gig one um with 512 meg as it uh says 160 hard drive sd but it looks like it's got a bigger video card in the thing and physically, it's a bit different inside. There's just one big cover on here now. So that's interesting. That's a difference. Um, the fan looks uh, slightly redesigned. If we take a look down here, much bigger heatsink on the graphics card. So they've obviously... Uh, it's got a beefier graphics card and a big-ass heatsink down there on uh, some sort of, you know, system um, ASIC, something like that. So... The other one didn't have that, so that is quite significantly different. And this puppy has 8 gigs of RAM total. Wow, that would have been something back in the day. Did you also notice this one has uh, standard PCI um, E, PCI Express, uh, time 16 slots, whereas the other one was uh, PCI X, which is actually different. And if we have a look right down in here, look at this. This is just Gorgeous. Look at these giant metal studs coming over and screwed into the board like that. And you can probably maybe see some labeling on there. Is that plus five? They're hard to read on the LCD. Yes, these are coming from the power supply. This is the power supply connectors. That is just an absolutely gorgeous design. Thing of beauty. Joy forever. Ah. Oh. My hat's off to whoever designed that. None of this cable rubbish. Just have big metal studs coming out of the power supply. Screw straight into the board. Oh, yeah, baby. 
So my hat's off to the Apple hardware designers. They really knew what they were doing with this uh, design. It's just oh, it's brilliant. The effort they've put into for all the uh, thermals and, and stuff like that, and just the, the clear cover to being able to see in there and the airflow guides and everything, just huge thumbs up. And if you're wondering where the power supply is in this thing, where's Wally? Well. Wally is actually in this space under here. So yeah, I'm not going to take the whole thing apart just to show you a bloody power supply. And even the latching mechanism for the case. See these latches here? Here's the lever over here and that just moves those three latches back and forth and with the holes down there, that's just simple, elegant. Love it. And does it work? You bet your ass it works. <laughs> Ripper! Mac OS X, of course, that's what you got. Um, it doesn't run the modern uh, OS's, so a blah, 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 whoever that is. Um, that was their Power Mac. So it's still, they didn't like actually wipe the hard drives. This thing boots. Um, the two uh, smaller models boots, the big one does not seem to, it flashes a few lights and then sort of shuts down. So I'm not sure what's going on in the big one, but the uh, two um, smaller ones certainly work. Ripper! Winner winner, chicken dinner. Now I know these things are practically worthless and I'd probably have a hard time giving them away on uh, eBay or Gumtree. Um, you know, they might, I don't know, if you're lucky you might get 50 bucks from them because as computers themselves, like usable uh, computers running an old Mac OS X, it's like, nah, with less power than like a modern iPhone or something, and nobody wants it. So it's useless as... I mean, it's basically a huge power-hungry doorstop. Um, that's pretty much what it is. But aren't the cases just beautiful? I love the aluminium construction, and I'm sure you can do something really creative with these uh, cases. So that's why I got them. That's why I'm probably going to keep them. Um, they're going straight to the bunker, and maybe I can find a use for uh, these cases. So if you've got any... Uh, good ideas of what I can uh, convert into these things, please let me know. No, I'm probably not going to. I know you can get like retro kits to fit modern motherboards in and, and stuff like that. I'm not sure I want to do that. Maybe something more creative, but yeah, just couldn't throw them out. It's just beautiful. Catch you next time.